it's Samantha Thompson here, Executive Director with 31, and I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about follow-up. So lots of times we have potential recruits that we've talked to, and maybe you started by making a list of potential recruits to join your team. Maybe you've invited them to the opportunity. Maybe you've even overcome some objections with them, and they're just still not quite ready, and that's totally okay. I always say I want people to join my team when the time is right for them. It doesn't do me any good or them any good for me to pressure them or force them or you know, even talk them into joining something if it's not the right time for them. But the fortune really is in the follow-up. So my recommendation is that you keep a list of anyone that you talk to about the opportunity and figure out some way to keep it tracked. So sometimes that might be a list in your phone and you use different emojis, like maybe um, a confetti once they join, or maybe it's um, a watch if you, you know, like time isn't right for them, but they're interested in joining. Maybe it's um, a little fire emoji if they are a hot lead and you know that they're, you know, close to wanting to join. Um, maybe it's a binder system. Maybe it's a piece of paper where you take notes. Whatever it is that works for you, the fortune really is in the follow-up. So I just want to encourage you to figure out some sort of way where you're able to keep track of anyone who you want to join your team, anyone who you've offered the opportunity or spoken to about the opportunity, and just some notes on when to follow up with them. Now, Follow-up doesn't always have to be 31 related. So the people who are on my list, I want to make sure that I'm keeping a relationship going with them. People will join you before they join your team. So you're not just selling 31 and a 31 opportunity. You're selling yourself as their team member, as their leader, as their coach, as their cheerleader, or as their sponsor, right? And so you want to build a relationship with them. So sometimes that follow-up might just be me connecting with them. Hey, how was your vacation? I saw you just got back from Florida. It looked like so much fun. Maybe um, their kid has been sick, or maybe they lost a family member, and I'm going to offer, you know, some prayers to them or some sympathies. Perhaps maybe it's um, just connecting with them on a personal level, commenting on their um, pictures that they post on Facebook, or congratulations, congratulating them if they get a job, or wishing them a happy birthday or happy anniversary. And then you also want to do some 31 follow-ups. So that's anytime we have any kind of new incentive or new kit, a new catalog's coming out things like that. So I want you to figure out a way that you can have a system where you keep track of people and where you can take notes on where they are in their enrollment opportunity process, where um, basically what they're, where they're at, whether they're waiting to join, whether they're not right, whether they're thinking about it, whatever it is. And then a way that you can track when you follow up with those people. Um, I will tell you, I've worked with people who have joined my team within two weeks of me offering the opportunity, and sometimes it's two or three years. And if I wasn't keeping up with that relationship and I wasn't following up with them, they might have joined someone else's team or not joined at all. And so I really just want to encourage you, you don't need to be pushy and you don't need to bug people, but there's a very um, smart and tactful way to kind of keep up with these people, keep following up with them, and keep offering the opportunity until the time is perfect for them. So the fortune's really in the follow-up. Figure out what you can do to have your follow-up system and then comment below and share with us what it is that works best for you. I'll talk to y'all soon.